Welcome back. Now that Thanksgiving has come and gone, the holiday gift giving season is upon us. But today we have a look at a special facility run by an organization that's devoted to giving back all year long. On stage's Frank Delella joins me now with details. Frank. Thanks, Donna. With the holiday season of giving in full swing, it's appropriate to shine the spotlight on the Actors Fund of America, an organization that's been giving back to the performing arts community for more than a century. From healthcare to artist housing, this national human services not-for-profit cares for those on stage and off, old and young. I recently took a trip to visit one Actors Fund facility dedicated to some showbiz veterans. Located across the river in Englewood, New Jersey, the Actors Fund Lillian Booth Home has been serving aging members of the entertainment community for years. Actors Fund President Joseph Benacasa is at the helm. Now the nursing home is a very special place. There are 124 beds here. It's a combination of assisted living care and nursing care. While the original site for the retirement center was on Staten Island, the organization's nursing facility is now located in New Jersey. Three years ago, the home was named in honor of philanthropist Lillian Booth, who made a handsome donation of $2 million to the fund. The not-for-profit's mission is to serve everyone in entertainment, from stagehands to actors, and Ben Acasa stands by that motto, a motto that has a history dating back more than 100 years. Back in 1882, 128 years ago, uh, actors and, and everyone was called an actor back in the 19th century. Uh, people uh, couldn't be buried in consecrated ground. So Ned Harrigan and Buffalo Bill Cody and a lot of other people got together and they bought cemetery plots so they could bury their friends and colleagues. And uh, the Actors Fund grew out of that, that desire to help one another out in tough times. The Lillian Booth Home also acts as a community center for its residents where entertainment luminaries check in on a regular basis. On my recent trip to the home, Fiddler on the Roof lyricist Sheldon Harnick stopped by to talk about his musical theater career. I can well imagine how uh, uh, lonely it must be at times to be uh, away from the theater, away from uh, the work that I'm sure most of these people have done a great part of their lives. And I thought, yes, this is something I should do. Also, what I found it to be particularly exciting was that when, when I told these stories, I thought, these people know what I, really know what I'm talking about. I don't have to go into detail because they've lived these stories. And lived the stories they have. Former stage actor Robert Holtman is a resident at the home. He attended Harnick's presentation and reminisced afterwards about working on the original production of Fiddler. I have fortunately worked with Zero in, in Fiddler. And did I say fortunately or unfortunately? <laughs> well, a little bit at all. Yeah. Film and stage actress Doris Bellick Rose also resides at the home. Still a working actress seen here in the recent film Prime, she lives in Inglewood and has a car service that takes her to and from New York City for auditions. From the staff to the grounds, she says she's content with living at the residence. And landscaping is lovely. Um, what's also nice about it is it's small. You don't have the feeling of a huge uh, disinterested uh, facility. Mm -hmm. Brian Stokes Mitchell, now on Broadway in Women on the Verge, serves as chairman of the board for the Actors Fund. He says that the home and what it provides is a necessity for those who work in the performing arts. It's all of us taking care of, of each other, really, and the home is kind of the, the pinnacle of that. It's the, the best part of that. These are the people whose shoulders we stand upon, actually, when, we, when I get on a stage like I did tonight. You know, I'm standing on the shoulders of those people who have, who have come before, and it's a great way to honor them and to take care of them. And that's honor and care from one artist to another, passed down from generation to generation. And the Lillian Booth Actors Home is just one of the many resources that the Actors Fund has to offer. Other services include a free health clinic, artist housing, and career assistance. Things that are obviously very important for those making a living in the performing arts. And if you would like to learn more about the Actors Fund of America, you can log on to actorsfund.org. Donna. Okay, thanks, Frank. Great organization. A great organization. Yeah, thanks. Yeah.